guys, it's me, Bev B. Today I'm going to be doing a whip and chat, which stands for work in progress. So pull out whatever you're working on, go ahead and clean your house, do some laundry, do some diamond painting, or just sit there and boringly watch my hands on the screen. So it feels like it's been a very long while since I've done a whip and chat, because last week I was not feeling was just not feeling it, to be honest. I actually did, like, I filmed the whip and chat, and then I finished it, and I was like, you know what, like, I don't, I don't feel like this is interesting. I don't feel well. I was kind of, like, sad for no reason, so I was just feeling, like, under the weather as people, under the weather. What does that even mean? I was feeling under the weather, so I was like, I'm just not going to put one up, so sorry if you're looking forward to that, but here is your this week, today, um, I wanted to show you guys before I started getting into my diamond painting, I got this really cool kit from Wonderland Ukraine and it's called, it's just like crystal art and if they're from Etsy, Mindy's Diamond Moments actually turned me on to this company because she had something from them. Um, she had a beaded cross stitch and I was like, okay, I need to get this. This is a bee, a bee brooch. This is how it will look. And it comes in this little box and in here you have everything you need from the beads to the little brooch part to just like everything and I think there's also thread or the threads in here or something like that but anyway so it comes in this little box it comes with instructions in Ukrainian or something <laughs> I don't know but here are the actual instructions and they come in English. So that's really cool. And then this is the B itself. So this is what you're actually going to be um, embroidering on, embroidering, putting down the beads on. And I think it will turn out really cute. I haven't started it obviously, but I'm really excited. And yeah, everything that I need is like in this package. So that's awesome. You can, I'll put a link down below to the shop if you're interested in looking at what else they have. They also have other types of beaded cross stitch. Uh, I think they have some embroidery things, but this took forever to get here. I mean, it's from the Ukraine, but it did take a very long time. And then I also got this. It's beaded cross stitch. It comes, it's a butterfly and basically uh, it's like a plastic it's like a very flimsy plastic piece that you that has holes in it and then you do the beaded cross stitch on top of it I thought this one was really pretty so I'm gonna be doing that so let's get into the diamond painting uh, if you haven't seen this before I'm doing Mother Earth from Diamond Art Club this is the thumbnail or the picture the big giant sticker that it comes with. So this is what I'm working on. It's by Hannah Lynn. It measures 56 by 76 centimeters. I do have an unboxing of this on my channel, which I will hopefully remember to link down in the description box below. So that's what I'm working on. I'm using a multitude of pens. If you see one and you're like, where's that from? Just let me know and I'll let, I'll tell you. Currently I am almost done. I have this row and then another square like the same size and then that's it. I've been working on this for like about a week now and I think I'm making pretty good progress. So hopefully I'll have this done by the end of the weekend and then I'm going to work on the moth from Distracted by Diamonds. I really want to do a square diamond painting. I'm just like in the mood for it. So I'm going to do that one next. Um, so I ordered the bat from Distracted by Diamonds and I swear, USPS hates Canada. They they just hate Canada because the the bat has been in transit in transit to the next facility according to the tracking since May May 24th. So I'm like, yeah, May 24th. And so I'm like, is it lost? Like what's going on? It's stalled at the border pretty much or wherever it is. So I'm just like really annoyed and uh, Robin from Distracted by Diamonds has been really nice about it and she said uh, she had a customer who ordered at the beginning of me and they actually just got their package so I'm like okay maybe there is hope for me <sighs> but I'm trying to get the Hornet from Distracted by Diamonds because that's 
the one that I need to complete my collection. I believe that's all I need from Jasmine Castillo. So if you see the Hornet on the Distracted by Diamonds slash Patty Wax shop, please send me a direct message on Instagram to let me know that it is in stock. Um, please, that would be so helpful. I really want to snag it. So if you see it, let me know so I can, I can get it. Hopefully it won't take two months to get here. Hopefully the bat isn't lost and it will just be here. Like I'm not, I don't care that it's delayed. Like I don't care. I just wish that track, they would like you, USPS would say something about how there's a delay in the package or something like that, or at least like scan it or something like I I'm not in a rush to receive it I just want to make sure that it's not lost and that I like I'm going to be getting it you know like not knowing is what's killing me oh so dramatic oh in other news oh my goodness so there is this dog this dog this cat named Jaguar at a local rescue and he's just he's adorable he's about eight to ten months old he's black and he just looks so cute. He reminds me of Zuzu, my cat, Kenzu. Um, and Kenzu, I think, will get along with another cat. He doesn't really care about other cats. And, like, he, he when other cats are at the door or whatever, like, he meows a bit. And um, I think he'll, he's fine with other cats. But so this cat is up for adoption. And this is the second time they've posted on their Facebook page, like, someone please like adopt him pretty much and oh he's just so cute so I put in I filled out the form to meet him so me and Clayton will meet him hopefully they'll be like they won't think I'm a crazy lady and they'll let us meet him um yeah so I'm excited I'm trying not to get my hopes up because what if they're like oh well you have a cat um you can't like he doesn't get along with other cats or something like that like I I'm hoping that they understand that I'm not a weirdo. Well, I am a weirdo, but not in a bad way. <laughs> I hope that I do get to meet him. That's all I, I want to say. And I'm like looking at my phone because I think they either email or call you to set up an appointment so you can go and view the cat. And I've just been like looking at my phone, checking my email, seeing if, I, if they've emailed me or anything. And it's just hurry up and, and message me. Hurry. Like, I want, I want to meet Jaguar, and like, I, I don't, if we get him, I don't know what his name will be, because I don't, like, Jaguar is, like, kind of cheesy, because his name is Jaguar, I think, because he's a black cat, but I'm like, no, we need to name him something else, so I have no name ideas, but, yeah, I'm just looking forward to it, I really want to meet him, I think Zuzu will be happy with a friend, that he can snuggle and play with and um apparently jaguar is really affectionate too and zuzu is really affectionate as well so i don't know i'm just excited don't want to get my hopes up too high but there's that that's happening uh, i am tired today apparently there's a recall on my cpap machine they don't say why. Well, I didn't see a reason why there was a recall. Something just fell from my diamond painting. Oh, my wax just fell. Um, there is apparently a recall on my CPAP machine. So I'm just waiting to hear back from my provider to tell me what I need to do in order to get a replacement machine. But it's been working fine for me. So I don't really know what the recall is about because... I'm not going to complain about it because it works. Clayton has gone to his mom's house, thank gosh, so I can film this without feeling insecure or self-conscious about it. And he's going to bring us back a BTS meal, well, me, a BTS meal from McDonald's. I tried it before and I like, I really like the sauce that it comes with. And basically, I think that's the only difference that, like, between that, with the BTS meal, the 10-piece nugget meal, and a normal 10-piece nugget meal is just the sauce. And it comes in this packaging. And apparently, people are selling the packaging on eBay for, like, 10 to not $10, like $100 or like $50 or something ridiculous. And I'm like, hey, I'm not even going to try and do that because 
I'm just going to throw it away in the garbage. <laughs> like literally ain't nobody got time for that. So yeah, uh, I really like the Cajun sauce. So there's like two different types of sauces with the BTS meal. And like, why don't they, why don't they put like the BTS, like the, the group on the actual packaging instead of just like making it purplish and, um, and white, like there's nothing special about the BTS meal. Okay. And so I'm diamond. Can you even see what I'm doing? So you can kind of see what I'm doing because I'm working in the corner here. This is where my arm kept resting by accident because I wasn't paying attention. And so it's not as sticky. So when a canvas isn't as sticky, what I do is I'll put down drills and then I'll kind of rub them in a circular motion and get like the glue kind of going. And then it ends up being stickier because my stupid arm was on this. Well, my arm's not stupid, but you know what I mean. So I'm just going to like jiggle it around for it to get it to stick. And that is a lot better. Oh, so I started working on my blingy bear. I can get him to show you. This is my blingy bear. I did his ear when I was on live on Tuesday. So if you didn't know, I do go live every Tuesday at 5.30 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. So I did his ear while I was on live and I can't decide, like, I want to make other, I want to glue some special drills on him, but I don't know what I want to do. I have pencil. You can kind of see the pencil marks for his eyes here. Um, I am going to give him a bum for sure. I don't know what bead I'm going to put for a bum, but he will have a bum for sure because I think animals are so cute when they have little things on their butts because I'm a weirdo. And oh, here's an example. So this is a fuggler. Thanks, Marlene. Shout out to Marlene for buying me this and sending it to me. Um, and see, he has a button on his butt. So I want something cute like that for my bear's butt, but we'll see what happens. Um, this weekend, so today is the 24th. I'm filming this on Thursday, but it will be up on Friday on my channel. Today's my sister's birthday, and I don't think she's doing anything, but she asked me if I was free on Saturday to come over for a barbecue. So I think if she has a barbecue, me and Clayton will go over and do that. And... Uh, I'm looking forward to it. I do like spending time with the kids, even though they they are like children and I'm not like really super into children, but they they like you can like have actual conversations with them. And it's like nice, like because kids say like kids say the darndest things like literally they say the weirdest shit. And it's just funny. Um, oh, I swore. Oops. Um, they just say weird things sometimes or like they're like your car is white and I'm like yeah and what did they say oh they're like mommy's car is black and I'm like okay like I don't I don't care and it's just like random I don't I don't know I thought it was like funny whatever so little kids are funny and they're like you have a cat and I was like yeah I do have a cat and then they're like we like cats because they're they're twins and I don't know and it's just weird because it's like they are they like speak their own language well not really but like when they're playing and stuff it's like you don't know what they're playing because they're like in their own little world together it's very odd anyway so that's what I'll probably be doing this weekend if that happens if not I'm just going to be I'll do some work and then I will diamond paint. I have a, I don't, I have, don't have any videos filmed for next week. Usually I film one to two weeks in advance and I have enough videos for that, but I haven't filmed anything because Clayton's been home. So I really need to figure out what videos I want to do. I know I'm going to do a post review of the B from Distracted by Diamonds that Sani West got me. Thank you, Sani. I love you. My sister um so I'm gonna do that post review and I'm like bad at post reviews but I think this one will be a good one because then you guys can see the sparklers and the changes that I made to it and then oh, I do have my heaven and earth 
canvas, the crown jewel canvas. I have that to unbox. Um, I might do that. And then I have just like another budget company sent me some diamond painting. So I'll probably do that one as well. Oh, so everyone knows by now probably, but if you haven't heard, if you are Canadian, Diamond Art Club discontinued free shipping to Canada. If you didn't know, um, check your email because they probably would have sent you an email if you're an existing customer. And in that email, at the bottom of the email, it's kind of hidden, but not really. Like you just have to look for it. There's a code for you to get free shipping one more time with your purchase of over $75 and you have to use that code before July 1st. So I'm going to wait till the very last minute to use it. Like I'll probably use it on the 30th just because I was looking at the restock calendar and it looks like a bunch of stuff is going to be restocked on June 30th. So I'm going to wait last minute to use it, but it's unfortunate. And like I tried to, I played around with the cart a little bit and for one big painting, it's $30 US for shipping. And then for two big paintings, um, it, it goes up to 42. So I, I just tried those amounts. I didn't try any other amounts, um, but just that will give you an idea of what to expect. And those amounts are in USD. So 30 USD and 42 USD for two canvases. So, I mean, craftably, I believe their shipping to Canada is about $50 USD. So it's like on par and distracted by diamonds. My canvas was $30 USD or both my canvases were $30 USD to get shipped here. So you're looking at spending an extra $35 to $40 for your canvases. So um, keep that in mind. And I, I totally understand why they're doing it. Like I get that some people are upset about it, but it's like if they're losing money, um, they sh like they have to be doing this and I don't know I know shipping prices are like super ridiculous right now just for running my own Etsy shop so yeah I totally get it it sucks but I get it and I wonder part of me is like I wonder if Dreamer Designs is gonna stop doing uh free shipping because you know how they're like so they seem really competitive with Diamond Art Club. I'm like, I wonder if they'll continue doing free shipping to, to Canada, but I don't know. Um, I, there are three canvases that I want from Distracted by Diamond, or sorry, there's three canvases I want from Dreamer Designs. And I think after I place my DAC order, or I might even order it this weekend, actually, I'm going to do the... I'm going to get three canvases from Dreamer Designs and I have a buy two get one free coupon. So that will be awesome. That should be easy. Um, what else is I going to say? So I got those packages and I showed you those. Did I show you guys this pouch from Cal's? Uh, is it Winky Wonky? Wonky Crafts? I don't know if I showed it. I think I filmed an unboxing for it, so you'll probably see an unboxing video for it, but here's a sneak peek, because if you do watch my whip and chat, that means a lot to me, but here's a sneak peek. I got this pouch from Cal's Winky Wonky Crafts. I want to say Winky Wonky. It might just be Wonky Crafts, but uh, Cal has a YouTube channel. I'll try and remember to link her down below, but she makes these little pouches, and oh, it's just like the perfect size. I'm going to put... When I work on the B, I'm going to put all my project stuff in this, and I think it will be really cute. So she makes these pouches, and I love it. And look at, like, the detail with the silver heart here. I think it's just so perfect. So, yeah, and I remember when I got it, I sent a picture to Shay, and Shay was like, what? And she's like, um, you bought the same shoes as my daughter, and then you show me this? And I was like, yes, I have the style of an 8-year-old. I'm sorry, I just can't help it. <laughs> so... Yeah, don't judge me, guys. I like cute things, and I feel like you're never too old to like cute things. So there's that. Uh, what should I do next, guys? Maybe I'll do... I don't know what color to work on next. Honestly, I'm, like, very hungry, and I can feel myself. You know, when you get hungry and you get kind of shaky, like, that's how I feel right now. And there's, like, no snacks, really, in the house. Um, yeah, I could eat a hot dog, but like, hey, I'm going to be eating McDonald's in like an hour or so. So I don't know what to do because there's no snacks. I wish there were chips, but Clayton eats all the chips. 
<sighs> so let's just continue diamond painting. We'll do number four, letter four. Symbol four, letter four. Let me find my drills. I have them all kitted up in Elizabeth Ward containers. I used some from the one that Sherry from Purple Door Crafts gave me, which was really nice of her. And I literally think, I think that they are brand new Elizabeth Ward containers that she gave me because there is no, no like, um, what is it? You know, when you rub a sticker off, there's no residue or anything like that. And when I'm like peeling, pulling back the lid or whatever, um, the lid kind of, um, is kind of hard to pull back. So I'm like, these must be brand new Elizabeth Ward containers. So thank you again, Sherry, for all the awesome gifts. That is so, that means a lot to me. You guys are like the greatest, honestly, so great. Uh, my friend Jill, Jill and STL, you guys might know her. She's also one of my Patreons. She's so amazing. She sent me a package and it's, and it's the same thing. It still says in transit. So I'm like, there must be something going on with the postage system in the U.S. Because I've been getting all my packages that mail from, that ship from China. But I haven't gotten um, my U.S. packages. So there must be something that's happening in this this is not working well. Oops, no, I put it in the wrong spot. Okay. This is again where I put my arm down. So it's not going to be that sticky. So I have to like kind of wiggle on the drill so that the glue kind of moves around. Oh, but yeah, so I got my heaven and earth design canvas. I got, what is it? Midnight cat or something. The cat on top of books, that's the one I got. And I haven't decided if I want to unbox it. You guys can't even see what I'm literally doing. Oops. I haven't decided if I want to unbox it, um, like film the unboxing right now, or if I should wait till I get the drills. So I ended up ordering drills from Evermoment. It was... I'm kind of nervous because I sent them, so I sent them a spreadsheet with the number of drills I need for each color, and they're like, just go to this web, just go to this listing and pay for $54, and I'm like, ooh, like, that was $54 U.S. for my drills. I'm like, that seems oh, like a lot, but um, it seems right, though, so I'm hoping that when I get them and I do the inventory that they all turn out a good size or like that's everything that I'll need for my kit and I'm not short of anything but I have faith so we'll see hopefully they are right and um yeah I'm trying to decide if I should wait till I get the drills to do the unboxing or not but what else was I gonna say um, oh yeah, Heaven and Earth Designs has a new section on their crown jewel canvases and it's called like the Solo Collection or something. I don't really understand it, but if you go on there and take a look, I guess it's like one or two canvases from an artist or one canvas from a different artist and not like an entire collection of their, of their cross stitch things turned into diamond paintings. Um, but yeah, it's called the Solo Collection and I think they only have like 10 or so canvases under there but um go ahead and take a look maybe you'll find something you like there is nothing that super caught my eye so i'm not going to get anything but it's cool that there's new stuff and i think i'm done that symbol oops i ordered from uniquely yours down under i'm looking forward to receiving it but I've just heard mixed reviews of them. Like literally some people have said that they love them and then some people have had issues with them. I got a port glue canvas though so I'm hoping that like not a lot of things can go wrong with port glue more than double sided adhesive so I'm hoping that it's actually okay. I'm realizing now that I do have to feed my cat but I will wait. I will wait to feed him till I'm done this whip and chat. So far, it's been 24 minutes. I hope I'm not boring you to death. Please don't die. 
Uh, Gem and Jess is back, everyone. Gem and Jess. So if you're not subscribed to her channel, I'll hopefully remember to put a link in the description box below. My homegirl, Gem and Jess, is back on YouTube. She posted a whip and chat after being away for like three months. And I'm just so excited because I really love her content. I love her as a person. She's so awesome. And I'm glad that she's back on YouTube. Like, I'm, I really look forward to seeing her videos. So that's amazing. And... Yeah, so make sure you go and check her out, Gem and Jess Diamond Paints. I don't know if that's her channel name or if it's just Gem and Jess, but whatever. I'll put her in the description box below, and if I forget, make sure you leave a comment and let me know. So now that Diamond Art Club uh, cancels free shipping to Canada, I'm like thinking about other places I can order from. And I am actually going to be doing work for my friend. So my friend last year around Black Friday got me to do some work on her website and she paid me in Diamond Art Clubs. She literally bought me, I think like eight, six or eight canvases from Diamond Art Club to pay for like my help because I was like, no, I don't want you to like give me money. Just buy me Diamond Art Clubs. So she bought like I sent her my account information and my wish list and she just bought whatever she thought was cool off my wish list um so yeah so she bought me diamond art clubs and then like now because they're not shipping to canada i'm like you know what like she's gonna hire me to do some uh email automation and things like that so i'm like okay well you can instead of paying me why don't you pay me in a gift card to do DIY Moon Shop. Die Moon Shop? I think it's Die Moon Shop. I've never ordered from them. Shipping to Canada is $50 USD. That is a lot. That ends up being like $60 Canadian. But I figure if I get a gift card from her in a decent denomination, then it will be easy. Like it won't hurt as much, hurt my wallet as much to order from them. So I'm like, this might be the only time in my entire life that I order from Die Moon Shop. So I've been on their website and I, I've made myself a little wish list of, of things that I really want to do. Um, and yeah, I'm really excited. So Yumi, I forget who the artist is, but there's a canvas called Yumi. I'm not even diamond painting right now. I'm just talking. But there's a canvas called Yumi. And um, be when I first started diamond painting and didn't know about, like, artist stuff and all that copyright stuff, I bought Yumi off AliExpress, and I actually finished it. It turned out really nice, but I would, like, I would like to buy the actual Yumi, and then I can do, I can do a comparison on like the charting and stuff but I I really love that piece and I'd like to hang it in my house and I don't want to hang up the one that was a ripoff of the artist so I I think I'm gonna get Yumi I think Jeremiah Morelli Morelli is that his name Jeremiah Morelli has one of a girl and then there's like death head moths there's like two or three of them in the picture and I'm gonna get that one and probably something else um, I don't remember which one, but yeah, there's like a whole bunch that I want. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out what sizes I want. And, um, my friend is still trying to figure out like what exact sh exactly she needs me to do. And then she's going to buy me the gift card. So no rush there, but I'm really excited to be ordering from them. I've seen lots of mixed reviews. Sorry, just getting a drink of water. I've seen a lot of mixed reviews for them. Like, some people, uh, who, who was it? Sorry, I'm trying to think. Jade, Jade, the, I, is her channel name Jade the Taylor? I don't know. It was Jade, um, she did a review and her canvas came really dirty, which was like super unfortunate. And so, um, I'm like kind of worried about it. And I like in the in a Facebook group too. someone else said the same thing, like their canvas came dirty and like it wasn't good quality, that type of thing. So I'm worried about it. Um, I see like unboxings of them on people's YouTubes and they seem OK, but people are saying like it's not worth the extra amount of money you pay for them. So, yeah, that's me just being a bit concerned, but I figure like I'm going to get a gift card, so I might as well use it and get images that I really like because I think that's why people order from Die Moon Shop because their images are are like so great and you can't find them anywhere else well at least licensed by that artist anywhere else so 
that's my plan. And I think I talked about that too much. Sorry, but not sorry. Um, I'm going to put out, so I have one, two, three, I have five pens, five not so chonky pens that I'm going to list in my Etsy shop this weekend. Um, and then I don't know what I'm going to do. Like, I haven't decided if I want to keep making them or not. Honestly, like they, they haven't been in my shop for like two months now and they're just like, it's not a lot of work to make them, but it's just not as fun as it was before. Like I want to make clay stuff, but like clay fairy houses or clay like mushroom houses and like little like weird clay trinkets and not for sale just for like for myself to put up around the house that type of thing um so yeah I I want to use the clay for that and like plus clay has been been like different colors has been hard to locate in my city because there's like a clay shortage apparently uh even online in Canada it's hard to get specific colors so I just haven't been able to buy a lot of clay so I'm going to finish, I'm going to bake the pens that I already have made and then uh, seal them and then I'll put those up on Etsy over the weekend, I believe. Just depends on the weather because if it's really hot out, I'm, I don't want to turn on the oven. No, thank you. And I'm not even diamond painting now, but whatever, you're not here to see this, are you? <laughs> so um, yeah, hopefully they'll be up in in my shop this weekend. I have some other things I'm thinking about making that I made before and I used to have a shop for them, but we shall see if I actually want to do that. Um, this pen is really cute. It's from Supple Boateurs. Supple Boateurs. Yeah, that's how you say it. Sure, the company from France on Etsy. Um, but yeah, so there's some other stuff I want to make and sell in my Etsy shop. I just haven't figured it all out yet. And uh, there, I listed some new cover minders earlier this week or last week. So there's some new cover minders in my shop. The link for my Etsy is in my description box below. So check it out if you want to. Mostly it's just, I think all, everything there are cover minders. And I think there might be some mermaid pens left. Um, yeah. And I, I do want to give do a giveaway uh, I can't decide if I want to do a giveaway when I reach 1,500 subscribers or wait till I reach 2K. And I'm like, I don't, I honestly don't know when I'll reach 2K. It could be like a year from now or something. But uh, my channel is slowly growing, which makes me happy. But um, yeah, it could be a little while. So I don't, I don't know. I feel like 1,500, was I saying 15K? I meant like 1,500. <laughs> not 15,000 subscribers. Oh my God, that'd be so nice. But when I reach 1,500 subscribers, I think I might want to do a giveaway. We'll see how long it takes to get there. And um, yeah. Oh, and I got a diamond painting from, oh yeah, I can post this video next week. I got a diamond painting from Pink Raspberry, which is located on in Ontario, Canada. And I opened it up and it wasn't the diamond painting that I had ordered or was expecting to receive. So you'll see in the unboxing video, I'm like, yay, I'm so excited. And I open it up, I'm like, huh? Like, huh? I didn't order this. So you'll see that in the unboxing video. The I get to keep the canvas like I messaged her after and was like, eh, like you sent me the wrong canvas and you never invoiced me for it or for the original canvas I ordered. Um, but she said, yay, now you have, you can have a free canvas. I was like, okay. <laughs> um, so yeah, you'll see the, the unboxing for it. It's actually really pretty. I think it's peonies, peonies, uh, like pe peonies, the flowers, peonies. Um, it's really cute. I'm like kind of excited like part of me, it is a round. So I'm like part, like I'm kind of sick of rounds after doing Mother Nature. So that's why I'm going to do the moth from Distracted by Diamonds um, because it's square. But I think part of me wants to do it like in tandem, like have two work in progresses at the same time. But I don't really know. It seems like a lot of work to have two whips at one time. <sighs> Life is so hard. Life is so difficult. And I keep hearing noises and I think, and like Clayton like is like a ninja, like he's so quiet. So I keep hearing noises and I think that he's home, but I don't think he's home. I think that just might be Kenzu wandering around or playing or something. But I'm like, part of me is like 
bracing myself for Clayton to surprise me. And even though I, I, he, he knows that I hate when he surprises me or cause it scares me. Like he'll just come up and like touch me and I'm like, ah, and I'll scream really loud and gross. Um, but yeah, so there's that. And, uh, what else was I going to say? Work has been good. Um, nothing really. Oh, I forgot to post on Father's Day and I kind of like, and I feel like I fucked up and let my client down by not forgetting to post on Father's Day because I, I totally spaced and like I should have scheduled something for Father's Day a long time ago. So I was feeling kind of crappy about that and really down on myself, but I'm like, okay, take it as a lesson, sit down and schedule out all the upcoming holidays and stuff. So I'm going to do that probably either later tonight or tomorrow or over the weekend, I'm going to make sure that I have, like, I'm on point and I have everything that I need scheduled, scheduled. And yeah, it's just like, I don't know, you know, when you mess up and then you feel really crappy about yourself, that's how I was feeling earlier this week. And I still feel that way. And it's like, there's no excuse. Like I was just dumb and like forgot that it was Father's Day and forgot to post. So there is that. Um, yeah, now I'm like thinking about it, feeling sad about myself. <laughs> but you know what I mean? Yeah. So anyways, let's talk about something else. I don't know if I really have anything else to talk about, guys. I feel like I've just, like, I'm not even diamond painting at this point. Like, you're probably not even watching the screen. But I'm sorry if you are watching the screen expecting there to be diamond painting because I'm literally just sitting here with my arm on my, like, my hand on my chin and my head resting. Look, I'm sitting here with my head resting in my arm and chin resting on my hand uh, whatever I'm like literally sitting here just like staring at my iPad and talking to you guys so yeah I don't know what else to talk about oh so last week because I didn't do a whip and chat last week last week I, I babysat the twins my sister's kids on Friday or on Thursday and it was so weird like there's kids are so tiring I honestly don't know how parents do it like by the end of it, I was like, I just want to go home and take a nap. Like, we weren't even doing anything strenuous, but it was just like, I think the mental capacity, I didn't have the mental capacity for them. Like, uh, I don't know. And then uh, we colored for a little bit and we played with those, like, there's like these beads you buy. They're for plants or something, but they're like these little balls and then you put them in water and they expand. And they're supposedly, like, good for kids because, like, the f they feel them and, like, all this stuff. So my sister made this big Rubbermaid tub type thing. And she put the balls in there with water. And we were playing inside. We were playing with them. And, like, they would take their dump trucks and, like, like little toys and stuff and put them in the balls in the water. And then they got the, like, the idea to freaking dumb like sit in it I was like I don't think you should sit in it and they're wearing their pants so they would sit in it and then the balls would go into their pants and so they were like taking off their pants pulling the the water balls out of it and I was like oh my god you guys are so dumb but I'm like not because they're funny and they're kids and I don't actually think they're dumb I just think they're so silly so um and then I'm like not paying attention and they're like, oh, I'm going to sit in it. I'm going to sit in it again. And then they took their pants down and then they put their bare butt into the tub of the the water balls. And I'm like, what are you guys doing? Like, you're so gross. And I was literally like talking to them like that. I was like, you guys are disgusting. Um, I'm going to go tattletale on you. So I went and told my sister because my sister was home. She was just working from home. Um, so I was like baby watching them for her. And so I like went into her office. I was like, they're being so nasty. They're putting their bare butts in the water. And she's like, she used like her mad mom voice and told them like not to do that. And I was like, haha, you guys got in trouble. 
Um, but it was, it was so funny. Like literally it was funny, but it was also gross. And I was like grossed out. And I was like, yeah, I'll babysit for you as long as you like, don't ask me to wipe their butts after they go poo. Like if they go poo. And it was good. Cause like one of them was in the bathroom and he was like on the toilet. I'm like, what are you doing in here for so long? He's like waiting for mommy to come wipe my bum. <laughs> I was like, okay, good. Like you wait here. And so my sister was on the phone in her office and then she like got off the phone with one of her coworkers and she was like, okay, I got to go wipe an ass right now. Bye. And that's what she said on the phone. And I laughed like that was so funny. Um, but yeah, so at least I didn't have to wipe any butts and <laughs> there's a diamond painting retreat happening right now. I'm really jealous. It's in, is it in Missouri? I don't know where it is exactly. Somewhere in like down over here in the States. So this is Canada. This is Canada up here. And then this is the States down here. And it's like over here. <laughs> by like, is it by the Great Lakes? I don't know where the diamond painting retreat is. All I know is that Jenny, the Uncrafty Crafter, is there. And I am jealous because she gets to meet everyone. It's really cool. We need to have a Canadian diamond painting retreat or a meetup that would be really sweet or even like an Edmonton meetup maybe I should see about like after when things are reopening and we can like gather together and stuff maybe I'll see about doing an Edmonton diamond painting meetup Ooh, we could do like a, a swap meet where we all meet but then we bring diamond paintings to de-stash or diamond painting accessories to de-stash and we trade I don't know how many diamond painters there are in Edmonton but I think that's a really good idea I like this idea. Anyways, guys, so I have been on here for 40 minutes just yapping my face off. I really need to feed my cat and I need to eat my BTS McDonald's meal. So hopefully Clayton will get home soon. I'm going to let you guys go. Thank you so much for listening to this whip and chat. If you made it this far, leave a, what is it? What should we leave? leave a food emoji. Yeah, leave an emoji of food. It can be like fruit or vegetables or like, you know how they have the ramen noodle one. Anything having to do with food, leave an emoji in the comments down below. I really appreciate it. And if you made it this far as well, please consider subscribing to my channel. I'd love it if you join my hive. All you have to do is click the subscribe button. It's totally free. And right next to it is a bell. If you hit the bell icon, you'll get notified every time I post a new video. So thank you so much for joining me again, you guys. I really appreciate it. And I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Have a good weekend. Bye.